Welcome to Swift Soul TV week three of Supreme setup guide. Now apologies, this isn't live this week. We've had a bit of technical difficulties. So instead, you know, we've still got to help you out, still got to help the newbies out with the setup and also resell analysis. So instead, we thought we would do this video where I'm going to be taking you through not only what's dropping this week, but also how to set up your tasks ready for the drop. So I'm going to be honest, it's a pretty dry week as per usual. And this week being like the major item of an accessory, which usually means it's a bit of a brick week. And it is. There is a slight collaboration or a couple of collaborations. One of them is extortionate and the other one isn't too bad. I think there might be some lunch money flips this week and a couple of things that you should maybe keep your eye on. Maybe go for multi-cart, especially if you've got Swift Soul Premium and then make a bit of a profit. But again, it's not going to be the biggest of drops. So I'm going to show you. So first and foremost is this weird thing. And that is a set of spinner rims. Spinner rims is like so 1990s. But for that retail, 12K, no thanks Supreme. I wouldn't recommend going for them in all honesty. Unless, of course, you've got more money than cents and you want to stick them on, I don't know, your Fiesta because that's the type of people that are going to be going for Supreme this week, in all honesty. But potentially, you may want to go for them for personal, but I wouldn't recommend it. Then we go down. This is probably the most hyped item of the week, and this is the pocket printer. This is going to be Bluetooth. It is a thermal printer, so you can print labels. However, the labels will not be big enough for shipping labels. So stick them around somewhere, get done for graffiti, get done for basically being an absolute hooligan, kind of up to you. But it will have a bit of resale, maybe about 20 to $30 on top, something like that. But again, we've seen that Supreme accessories haven't been the greatest over the last season. So it might be worth a risk, but the retail is quite high at $98. So that is a risk that you're going for. Of course, they're dropping some bags. We've seen the backpack and the duffel bag not do too badly recently, around a $20 profit. So maybe something you want to multi-cart if you're looking for that. Same with the pack vest, again, $20 on top. That's about the only bags that we're going for. Now, the hats, in all honesty, the Gore-Tex Crusher, leave behind. The military camp cap, I don't mind personally, but I wouldn't really wear that. Um, it's quite a high retail for what it is. I don't think many people are going to be liking that. The only one that may have a bit of resale, and when I say a bit of resale, I mean like $10 to $15 on top, would be the waxed cotton camp cap. Now, I'd only go for this if I had a multi-cart. It's quite nice with the contrasting rim, but you need to understand your clientele. Don't think this is going to be a flip on stock X. I think this is mainly going to be for people that you know, local flips, etc. But I wouldn't put all of my efforts into that, especially with the retail. Uh, shop coat, no. Ripstop jacket, no. Ripstop pants, no. Sweat pant, no. Uh, the Wallabies. The Wallabies are a high retail. And actually, if you know about Clark's Wallabies, this was actually when I was going to school wallabies were massive me in secondary school that's what i used to wear um so it might appeal to that sort of generation but the woven stuff's a bit weird the colors are a bit strange i just don't think they're going to be going above retail but you might get them for personal we have got the air force ones in there however don't forget air force ones usually restock on a friday not on a thursday so have your tasks ready on friday 11 o'clock local time and that will probably be when they restock the Air Force ones or when they soon drop those wheat ones, you know, the kind of brown ones that are coming up. So we go down. This is the No Fear. Sorry, I mean the Highs Hooded, Eyes Hooded sweatshirt. It just looks like the No Fear logo to me. I don't think there's much reselling that, maybe $20. It might be something to multi-cart. Um, the first colorway, that sort of gray one with the yellow eyes is probably the best one there. But again, probably not. This would be an item that I would go for personally if I was looking for something for a quick flip. And that is the small box crew neck logo. Um, autumn's coming up here in the UK. So people are going to be looking towards crew necks as well as hoodies. And this is quite a clean piece for people that like Supreme. Um, I wear small box logos, t-shirts, hoodies, etc. And I'll probably be looking to pick up a couple of these just for some casual wear. Again, don't expect a crazy amount of resale on it, but I reckon maybe 20% return. That'd be one that I'd go for. But again, it probably will brick. Uh, travel panted zip up. No, the embroidered short sleeve top. I like the idea of this all over embroidery, but the retail's too high and it's not that nice. So we are getting rid of it. This is probably one of the biggest ones for this week in regards to t-shirts, and that is the Gons t-shirt. It's basically his signature, his name written out on a My Name Is badge. It's okay, it's clean, it's an easy design, but I think, again, gone are the days where Supreme just puts their branding on it and everyone buys it. But it's quite a clean t-shirt. I'd probably be looking to put that 
the small logo box, small box logo uh, crew neck and the printer in a multi cart. That's probably what I would go for if I was going for anything at all this week. I think I'm honestly going to pass this week. I don't think there's anything to go for. So look, let's get on to task creation. So let's say you did want to do what I'm saying. Now, of course, quantity, you can only go for one item. And don't forget, every profile needs to be unique. In other words, your name, your email address, your telephone number, your normal address, and your card details, they all need to be unique for you to be able to cop multiple items. Now, that means that it doesn't matter if you've got different cards and you use the same name, you may be blocked at checkout. Or if you've got the same card and you change everything else, you will be blocked. So ensure that it is authentic, different profiles. Now, when it comes to sizing, small is usually one of the best, extra large next, then large, then medium. Medium usually sits for the longest. So I'd be going for small and extra large if I was you, if you were going for some resale. Now, colors. Generally speaking, Swifts will get the colors right. However, it is a bit of a guesswork until the EU have dropped. So what might happen, let's say the yellow t-shirt, Swift Soul might have put that in as yellow, but Supreme load it as something like mustard. Now what Swift Soul will do in that case is when it comes to the US drop, they will update the colors. But just bear in mind, there is a bit of a risk sometimes. So you may just want to go for random to ensure that you get something. Now you've got two different type of capture modes that you can go for. You have the capture harvester and also AYCD. Now AYCD is only available to premium members. And what that is, is an auto solving service. So captures are basically those small grids that you'll get that look and say, um, pick the airplane or pick the fire hydrant. It's a type of anti-bot that tries to ensure that you're a human checking out. Now, those captures will come to your app in order for you to solve them. However, if you've got AYCD, you can actually use that service so it auto solves the captures for you. Now, bear in mind, Supreme have now loaded H capture or human capture. So there is another service that you'd have to purchase, which is AI capture. But if you want any more details on that and the cost in, because that is a third party, however, you get a slight discount utilizing the Supreme affiliate link. Go down in the description below, both the setup guide and also how to purchase is all down there. I think it's around $25 a month. You can use it for other websites as well and other bots. So up to you if you want to purchase it. This would be a perfect week for you to actually try out trial it basically and to see if it works see if you can get it running because it doesn't really matter if you don't hit it's not a big week like box logos or something like that so might be worth going for that so i'm going to put capture harvester just so you can see it on the screen then task mode go for drop mode around 20 minutes in if you haven't hit go for restock mode now on that most bots or most people shall i say don't hit initially there are a few people that will hit on drop time but most people will be hitting when it comes to restocks, because what happens is Supreme drip feeds their stock. So bear that in mind. So after 20 minutes, if you haven't hit, then basically get on back to your task, start restock mode and press start again. Now task flow, you can do a mixture of both mobile and desktop site. The reason being is because sometimes the desktop site does crash or the mobile site crashes due to high traffic. So it's good to basically diversify your tasks. So it's Swift Soul either tries to check out mobily or tries to check out on desktop. It's quite a good idea to basically just diversify the tasks that you've got going. PayPal checkout, we recommend not using that for now. It's an experimental mode, but currently not working. And then start time is manual. Always start one minute before the drop. So very simply, I'm gonna add that one to my cart. Then what I'm gonna do is show you multi-cart as well. So I'm gonna go back to the top and let's say that I got the printer. So let's quickly, oh, scroll past it. So here, if I add that to the task as well. So what I've got in my task list, is basically what's going to be dropping, right? So the two things that I'm going for. Now, as you can see at the top, it's got different cart codes. One is 0HY or OHY. The other one is SPQ. Now, if I want these two to be checked out at the same time or Swift Soul to try and check multi-cart out, then all I need to do is press the plus sign, go on to multi-cart, then I hold and I basically drag it onto the next cart. I never get that in one. I literally never get that in one. But you just hold and then try and drag it into the same cart. You kind of get the drift. Come on, Josh, work. I'm not going to edit this out. There we go. Nice. So you've got that now in one cart. Now, what will happen is Supreme will go to the first, sorry, Supreme. Swift Soul will go to the first item, add that to the cart, then go to the second item, add that to the cart, and then try and check out. Bear in mind that that comes at a cost of speed. So for this week, should be okay. However, when it comes to a box logo, I wouldn't recommend going for multi-cart just to say $5 or $10 shipping because for the simple fact, it's going to be too slow and you need to check that out as quick as possible. Very simple. Now, all I need to do from this position is press the plus sign, go on to my capture harvester 
and wait for captures to appear there and hopefully swift soul goes through the process and checks out the items that i want now of course if you've got aycd loaded and you are a swift soul premium member if you go into settings you just put all the details in there again the guide is down below and that will do it for you you don't have to have any capture windows open because aycd is going to sort it out on their end now don't forget that premium you can purchase for around five dollars a month it doesn't charge you when the season's not on and again it's a good time to trial these things like multi-cart etc to get ready for it especially when things like the box logo comes for aycd not the multi-cart options very very simple now other tips again start one minute before the drop don't touch the delays make sure you're on wi-fi not mobile data if you can be don't worry if you can't be because you're out and about that's the convenience of swift soul you can just take it around with you go on mobile if you need to but ideally go on wi-fi because the ping time is a lot better anyway that's about it for this week again not the most hyped of weeks we will be back live for week four and hopefully please supreme drop some good shit let us know if you've got any questions down below or do ensure that you go into the description, join on the Discord, ask any questions in there. The support guys are ready and waiting for anything that you need. And as always, for tomorrow's drop, be lucky.